So how because do you look and sound alike, there's no way that we're, you know, so like, different parents. How did she get into Spanish then? What do you mean? Did she get into Spanish? Oh, she also she got into Mandarin. Mm. And so henceforth, they threw me. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. I don't want to start too late. These crackers are fucking soft. <laughs> That's a sin. We should make a list of sins in this because the first thing you get crackers are Soft crackers are a sin. Wait, just like wait. uncrunchy yeah, wait, popcorn. Wait, while we wait. We're so not waiting anymore. Oh, well. Is there a recording going? Yeah, it is going. Seriously? We've been going for like a while now. Oh. No, stop! We're starting. I thought we weren't starting. I told you we were starting. I ignored you. Collective <laughs> hearing. And she's the dedicated member. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I've been coming here for three years. I'm dedicated. I have priority. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who is Magnus? 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 Me and Nikita were saying that we need an OG History Club member role on the Discord I, I, Oh, fuck, yeah. I partially gave that. Well, you gave us a dedicated members. Yeah. But that could be anyone who just shows up every week. Well, it's also in the yearbook book. I don't know what's in the sandwich. It's good. Okay. Um, can I eat this up, by the way? Yeah, yes, you can. I okay. finished all my lunch. Okay. I'm kind of doing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 Um, as you can tell, I'm not in my usual costume. Yeah, mine's in your costume, Matt. It's really day. slimy. Photo <laughs> day. I don't think that that could be dressed up as a mouse at all. You forgot the email. You forgot the email us. You forget the outfit. I did forget. Apart. This love I, is falling I'm apart. I'm not forgot. I decided not to. Did you know? Because I wanted to Give cancel. Give me proof. I decided to forget. I wanted to I'm cancel. I'm going to go full you care and just cancel. Give me proof. <laughs> Hey Jack. Hello. Yes. I'm about to go for a carrot. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't forget. I, did, I was cl I was considering I was considering canceling this meeting because I wasn't prepared enough. But since I know all of you were gonna come here, which is most more than most people. Oh, I'll ask you a thing. Oh, 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 oh. We got a, a lot of people. Just seeing up all the new people who were recording for uh, YouTube. Uh, the camera. Yeah, right oh, oh, my back camera. How about you? Doing yeah. pretty well. That's yeah, very good. good. All right. This is fun more than usual. But uh, today's topic we're going to talk about is Maoism. So, always first thing to do, uh, what do you know about Maoism? It's Chinese. Yeah. Sure? Yeah? It's the ideology of Mao. Sure. It sounds, it sounds like it, but it's, yeah. <laughs> I think it's yeah, like I should probably Chinese. delete that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Jack, come to the block the camera. What is the camera? Got the cameras, got the cameras! <laughs> I mean, you can sit there, we just like, you know, make them really funny. Okay. Wait, where is the camera? Oh, it's right there. Okay. The um, camera. Is this first two introductions? We all want to do this, is, right? Yeah. Um, Miles are done. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So, introduction. Um, so Maoism enabled the socialist revolution in China, and it helped bring China to what it is today, as well. Oh, oops. Well, anyways. <laughs> as oh, yes. Yes. Maoism. Anyways, uh, I find the previous. We're going to be going over. Um, I like the caption of Maoism. Yes. <laughs> well, first, going to be going over what is Maoism. Uh, how it changed after Mao died, and how China is now in the modern world. So, Mao is here. Uh, Mao is there. Mao is there. Yes. So let's just talk about what Maoism is. Now, Maoism is a variation of Marxism and Leninism. Hello. Yes, this is Sarah and Julia. Hello. I know, we're going to be a big group, but it's an exciting group. So, everybody give a little love to some 
new folks in ninth grade. And they're nice ones, so I didn't give you the bad ones. I gave you the good ones. <laughs> Thank you. So, Tell them that we're Oh, yeah, we're recording. So, how would you disclose it? Yeah, that should be disclosed that we're recording. Oh, yes. <laughs> for ninth grade, we're recording for YouTube. So, so you can watch it. Yeah, yeah, although we do have a lot of people. Wait, is there like a YouTube channel up? Yeah, there's yeah. a Discord and a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if you follow them, they can see everyone you're following. So. Anyway. Really? What? What? Follow what? Okay. What? Okay. Maoism. Um, this again, for people who came in today, we're talking about Maoism. The first one we wrote, Maoism is, it's a variation of Marxism, Leninism, Leninism which is, Lenin ideology, Marxism, which is uh, which is socialism, and it's a political and military ideology. Um, and as the biggest difference is that in in Marxist Leninism is that it's the proletariat, the factory workers who led the whole thing. But in China at the time, there were no factories, there were no factory workers, so there couldn't be any proletariat. So Maoism mostly just changes it from the proletariat to the peasants, the farmers, whomever, you know. So, you look at huh? Yeah. His policies were set up around the peasants or around the farms. Like, was he unprepared for when the proletariat, when the factories would be taking over? Was he prepared for that? Um, I guess, yeah. Um, but I mean, most of the policies were formed around the ideology, yeah. more or less. So, components again. I said before, power through peasant guerrilla warfare. You know, China has the biggest population in the world currently. It had a huge population back then as well, in the 1930s and 40s. Now I think it has 1.4 billion people, and is the most populous country in the world. Yeah, it's a close second. They have like about 1 billion, 1 billion people, and the third is the United States with 255 million. Wait, one number three? Yeah, one number three. Anyways, um. And so also Maoism is from and for the masses, you know, it's power yeah, through the peasants. Huh? Wow. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, uh, did you go by the tune in? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you were sure. Wait, this might be a record now. This, oh. this might actually we be a record. We have to this take a picture. Right there. This is a mag, this is yeah, a mag, this is like this. ideal dream. And Maoism mostly believes through development through contradiction, contradiction through ideology and Things like that. Uh, so, again, we're going to go over more differences of Marxism. Again, as I said, bef as I said before, it's peasantry instead of proletariat. Uh, uh, as Mao called it, popular masses. Um, and he said it was he said this because all of them are poor and a blank political slate. He called his entire country poor, which might be true. But I guess if you're trying to lead a country, you wouldn't be the person to think of, at least for me, to say, "Hey, you guys are poor. You're good for this though." Is that true that they didn't have any political beliefs? Political beliefs? Or like political stances? Um, maybe not. I mean, before they were they were more like a pro And they were was there the still the emperor like at this time? Yeah. Or was he already over? This was like not um, that long after. I think it was kind of like an emperor. So, and also, um, so it's more, I know you said contradiction, but not divide. He wanted to unify all the people of China. Whereas in Marxism, Marxism is built on, I'm sure you've heard this before, the, the dividing of, the dividing of, pla or the um, clashing of, conflict of, I, I forget the exact words, but conflict of classes. Uh, and, you know, he said it's because when the means of production or whatever, when the proletariat uh, advance and then the clash of classes, Great social reform, but Mao did not. Mao did not believe in this. He believed that we must unify the people to progress instead of dividing them. Whereas that's where the market, the free of the people. Yes. So Mao was here. Mao is dead. Oh. He's still there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just dead. He's still there. 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 He's still does he die? Why does, why does anyone die? Yeah, he won't die like old dead. age. And most of the causes for death are state secrets of China. It's speculated he might have had like Parkinson's disease and many different 
like uh, play different uh, influences with his brain and things like that. But it's mostly attributed to his chain smoking with a lot of lung problems as well. Don't smoke, kids. Yeah. Don't follow Mao for smoking. Everything else that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, so Deng, uh, Deng Xiaoping took over. This is Deng Xiaoping. And how basically, was, how old was he? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, he radically changed Mao. It looks old. He changed China. Huh? Didn't he like completely change China? Yeah, he completely changed China. He took Maoism and he didn't flip it, but well, he kind of did flip it. Uh, well, um, and his main thing was truth from facts. So we'll get just into that. So his changes. There is rational implementation. Where Maoism was more about ideology and theories and stuff. Uh, Xiaoping was more into like to rational thinking that everything has a direct consequence for it. And thinking of policies more, um, more rationally instead of ideologically. Yeah. Like how, he was just like a successor. Um, yeah, so of course with rational implementation, it was the reduction of ideology importance in policy and government as well. And from this, he also separated Mao from Maoism because when Mao was alive, he was, I mean, if you saw the picture earlier, he was like a god figure almost. So, so it's just ism. <laughs> yes, they call it ism. Um, so, so yeah, so he tried to separate Mao from Maoism because, especially later in Mao's period, like the Cultural Revolution, which is probably a huge mistake. Uh, so yeah, Jiao Ping tried to remove that. You no, know, Mao is not a god. He is. They said, quote, like, he was seventy percent right and thirty percent wrong, basically. And that thirty percent was removing Mao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Specific. Not so, so the effects was in, so, um, so that was a breakaway from ideology to economic reform. That was his idea, Xiaoping. Um, and also, this is seen as Maoist as apostasy, which basically just means disassociating yourself from an original belief. <laughs> and you say this, and also, and also, like many scholars do say that this is he basically restored a lot of capitalist ideas away from socialism to more capitalist ideas away, you know. I guess more to industrialize and to really bring China up to speed, I guess. Uh, because, I mean, from World War II, I mean, China was like, very poor. And, I mean, we own China now, right? Yeah. You know, how much of everything do you think you own is made from China? Probably about 90%. Yeah, probably yeah. a lot. Down to the, the bricks is yeah. under my house. <laughs> yeah. So, moving into modern China. Hey, look, it's Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh. What? The phone's in the Winnie the Pooh. Is it Winnie the Pooh? And that's why Winnie the Pooh now is banned in China. Yep. I don't, what? Where did that come from? Because he looks like Winnie the Pooh. Someone made a meme a long time ago, and I guess he doesn't like it. Right. I'm using the good sense of humor, I guess. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, so moving to modern China. So, China is not actual socialist, nor communist, as many people think. They're actually state capitalists, which means, well, I mean, they're capitalists, but also state capitalists mean all the industry is sponsored by the state. So, in turn. So it's democracy with the communist twist. Not really, because I mean the idea of socialism is entirely built on social ownership, which means the factories are owned by the people mostly. Um, but yeah, state capitalism, where you know, United States is more of a market economy. Like everyone can start their own business. Individuals own businesses, not government. So government owns all the business in China, and of course now global economic superpower. So Mao's legacy. Um, officially by the by the communist Chinese Communist Party is known as a great revolutionary. But also by the same party he's regarded as a huge disaster for China. Um, because of all the mistakes he's made and, and stuff. That but doesn't look anything like it. Because that's that's a statue of when he was young. Oh. But like from 
from like the 30s. From like 10, 20, 30 BC. Magnus, I got a question. Yeah. It's not a joke, this is a serious question. Okay, so China is a, what did you say? Catholic? State, state, state Catholic. Catholic. Okay. How does the Chinese Communist Party work there? If you know, if you know. Um, not 100 percent, but they're more. Well, like what? Um, How does that work? What did y'all think? Put in or not? You know, Mao Zedong also said new democracy. Oh. And I think so. It's like kind of like more presidential, but more long term, I guess. So what was your question again? No, that, that I answered it pretty well. Okay. Um. So yeah, yeah mostly everything is run by the government. The United States, of course, the government rules things, but most individual things are the same. Okay. The best the government is the one that works. Yeah, that's. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. The party, how is party? Um, I'll be right back. Regards Mao as a disaster. Mao is a disaster. And they don't really call Maoism. The party officially calls it, uh, like, Mao, Mao plot or something like that. Not sure why. You can. Uh, and also, uh, right when Xiao came to power, I tried to say this before, but when right when Xiao came to power, all the supporters of Maoism and Mao's leaders were killed or imprisoned. So, yeah. So, first with the United States, and then of course, yes, it's Mr. Bush. Uh, I don't need to say that one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, of course, you've heard of the main trade war and trade deficits between China. Um, mostly Trump started. Uh, President Trump started the trade war in 2018 because of all the trade deficits, which means when there's, there's, there's a deficit between the amount of exporting and importing. Like if you're exporting but charging over, like you're not getting enough back, or or you're importing more than you're exporting to a single country for trade, then it's a trade deficit. Um, and also, you might say some China have a huge military opposition. <laughs> You, you all know. So, uh, that is mostly for now. Sources China. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is from Wikipedia. That's my favorite source. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love Wikipedia. Straight from now. I think we're all <laughs> Straight from, Straight from yeah. Xi Jinping. Yeah. Yes. We just went. We just went back in time and just talked. And we have magic school about something. Yeah. All right. All right. Now comes. I think the. Well, oh, the best part of history club. Yeah. Yes. For those of you who don't know, history club. Finish that real fast. Oh my yeah. Um, I, need, I need to stress these out a bit. I, I've just been I trying mean, out a new presentation. Sometimes they're too short, sometimes they're too long. Yeah, I'll just. He can talk more. I, I think I'll fix it. Let the like master master his craft. Okay. Yeah. I think we can do like a history club bonding experience. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we, we take a trip to <laughs> some. <laughs> some <laughs> no, Marley. That's a great yes. idea. Like Actually, right I'll now, second that idea. Oh, right now. Yeah, yeah like, I'll second that. Like, Laosha can be our... Magnus, we like Magnus. Food days. Magnus, like we could get you now. Chef, bro. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. the Chinese teacher can be our chef. I think we should really, really do some kind of like... We go to like the Netflix of... I don't like me very much. Like a history museum. We'll go to the Great Wall of China. Well, that's going to be a lot organized. She doesn't not like me. She says hi to me every time I walk past her in the hallway. It's not awkward to know. But she doesn't not like me. Guys. Okay. Guys. Hey guys. Is that your quiet tone? The teacher's waiting. Teacher. I feel like you're guys on me, guys. I'm in the middle of motion. Magnus, treat the class like an elementary school. Go. Yeah, don't like us. Okay. Okay. okay, you know what? Let's move on. So, voting. For those who don't know, I mean, I, always, I found this an idea of democracy because I always wanted to learn what I wanted to learn in history and learning what history. So I mean, want to do that. So far, just voting on three topics, but I eventually want to get to maybe some of you are suggesting your own topics. Oh, so, that'd be good. I, I have suggested. We'll see. They never go through. Well, the problem with management. Yeah, I'm not trying. I'm just trying to work that in at some point. So, it's going to be do three topics. The first topic is somewhat related to the topic we just discussed. The second one is random, and the third one is the was the runner-up of the last week's. Runner-up. So the first topic we have. For next week, oh, well, we got two now. Oh. Uh, the industrialization of the 1800s. A random one I chose I thought would be interesting was foundations of mathematics. 
you know, theories of the ancient world and also in the Renaissance, things like that. I wonder if Look, I always have algebra after this period, so. I kind of want to like know, you know who invented like X and Y yeah. and putting them in math and then just go back in time and like punch them. I think that'd be really cool. All right. Field trip. Last one is uh, right after last week was a retrospective of World War II, which is just going over World War II. Uh, so we're gonna vote. Ooh. So how are we gonna do this? I was gonna have to put their heads down. No. No, oh, this is yeah. new. This is best this is real. Oh, yeah. no, okay, well, this is because every time we did it with them with heads up, they changed their vote based on who voted. So it has to be five. So do this way. Everyone put your heads down. Can I just close my eyes? I just close my eyes? Mm -hmm. I will close my eyes. I won't sure. it, I just don't want to get it. Sure, you, or you can close your eyes if you want. What? Okay, <laughs> so for number one, we, okay, don't raise your hands yet, but number one, industrialization of 1800s, number one. Number two is foundations of mathematics. Number three don't raise your is hand perspective of World War II. So raise your hand for number one, industrialization of the 1800s. Or one, two, three, four. Don't count out loud, that could be the purpose. That is true. <laughs> yeah. What if there's only two people? Oh, oh actually, yeah. Yeah. Let's just restart. Let's 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 restart. let us <laughs> okay, and then finally raise your hands for industrializations of the 1800s. Put your hands on Oscar. I heard your hand go up again. Yeah, Oscar, you can't vote twice. Oh. Oh. Oscar voted all three times. <laughs> no, I made sure I didn't count one of his votes. Okay, you can look now. Yeah! Yeah, I heard on the other <laughs> Yeah! So next week we have our perspective of World War II, and the next one will be fun. Wait, I'm not gonna be here next week. Oh, wait, I don't know, wait, well, you can't vote. No, I might be, I might be. I, I might <laughs> no, I might be. Wait, now we gotta do something important. I'm gonna make an announcement, just so everyone knows. Just so everyone knows. Yeah. Um, I wanna try and start History Club as soon as lunch starts. Okay. So, and also you can always eat inside. Um, you go start at five minutes after, so you can go grab your lunch if you have hot lunch and come down. So just try to come down as fast as you can so I can try and make, like, larger lessons. I know this one was really small, but it was fresh. So if we can do that, I'll make much larger lessons and make them more interesting than that. You made like 30 seconds. I just want to point out, I think this is a record for the most people. Yeah, yeah this is. It is. Wait, how many people is it? Yeah. Two, four, six, six, eight, 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 and twelve. Fourteen. Eight, 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 wow. Could we just like no. chill in here and like take in everything that we've just yeah, learned? Yeah, that's a good idea. Also, be sure. Um, Oh, for all the new people, should I, you want to be added to the email list? I'd love yes. to. Yes? 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 yes. 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 Alright, can I throw this? Did you send an email oh, yeah, for this one? Or did I didn't get an email? No, I, I, I did send one last night. Right, you want to get the email? Epic! <laughs>